don't talk. The boy never stopped, though they told him no. I'm tryna be on top, but I told him talk. The boy never stopped, though they told him no. What's up today, my fellow Madden soldiers? I know it's been a few days since I uploaded, but just know I, I have been grinding. I have been trying to figure out more creative ways to upgrade my team and what I was going to do with it because I was undecided. So what I did was just periodically here and there without recording it, I did upgrade my team. And one thing that amazed me that I was able to get up that I didn't get up before was I got Terrell Owens up to a 99. And so right now I want to let you guys know how I did that. You know, there's, there's a few other people that got up to a 99, of course, which is Amari Cooper. It's going to be Amari Cooper is a 99, Randall Cobb's a 99, and Ke Keyshawn Johnson's 99, which is, that's not a surprise. Amari Cooper and Randall Cobb, yes. If I wouldn't have did what I did right now, because I would at least have to have 50 out of 50 Cowboy uh, chemistry in order to get Amari Cooper and Randall Cobb as a, as a 99, so I'm gonna show you it's the same way. Look at I got Terrell Owens as a 99 too. So all my receivers is a 99 besides uh, Deion Sanders, and I like him as an OOP, so I'm gonna keep him there. And so the same way I got Terrell Owens as a 99 is gonna be the same way I got these other two as a 99 without 50 out of 50 Cowboy Kims. But I did something recently. It was pricey, and I upgraded this team. So I'm gonna show you right now what I did for those who you know I don't know what kind of Kims you got. You know Terrell Owens apparently. He played for several different teams, as we could tell. So we're going to look at that right now without further ado. So it's going to be the same for your other team. I go with Cowboys for him. So he has Buffalo, um, Eagles, San Francisco, and Cincinnati Bengals. Okay. So anybody who's, who put him, put Terrell Owens on your team and using him, and you want to know how to get him up to a 99, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same thing. Multiple things took place. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and go. Okay. The first... we could, the first basic thing, let me speak about. The first basic thing, of course, is going to be the sprinter and the go deep. That's going to that's gonna help out. So just know that, that, that that's part of it, too. It's a small part of it, but it's part of it. The other thing is this. You see John Madden? I got him from the passing. I got him maxed out. The, the pass D, I don't got it maxed out yet, so that has nothing to do with that. Uh, Madden passing, apparently, is that. Uh, Madden physical, that added to it. Madden rushing, of course, I add to it because it gives you like, it gives you all kinds of things. It gives you all this stuff which the receivers get to as well as the running backs. And then, so all the Madden rushing. So all that stuff added to the 99 of Terrell Owens as well as the other two people that uh, uh, Randall Cobb and Amari uh, Cooper. So the other thing that I did was this, the Cowboy Kims, okay? So as you can tell, I put balance O on my um, Cowboy offense. I do have uh, the pass D. I think the pass D, I'll show you that right now. But balance O is what help, help my receivers as well. Okay. A balance, it was a mixture. Balance O is a, is a big part of it because they evidently gets two catch, two juke, catching traffic. It gets all these other stuff in here when it comes to adding these Cowboy Kims. And it's pricey. When you're from the top, it, it, it's, it's not as much. But as you're starting to go down, as you start to go down to these last two, it gets up to like five thousand training to 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 uh, put put in there to in order to get that slot open up. So, but it's worth it. Like I said, it worked and it paid off. So, it this was part of it. Oh, here we go here. And uh, Cowboys pass D. That's another reason why. And I got sixteen out of forty added on to there. So, you, you, it's basically what you want to do with it. How you're gonna mix around the cams? They got different cams. I could have I could put just all. Um, Cowboy Pass D, but y'all mix it around. I put the Palance O and I put the Pass D, and it worked out. As soon as I put the Pass D on my Cowboys, I, I put it out. What I'm open to, oh, tier four on it. Amari Cooper went it to 99. So I think that's that, that was a big reason why um, um, Terrell Owens went to 99 too, because apparently he gets two plus catch as well as uh. The zone and all that really don't matter. I'm pretty it adds to it, but it's really I think the catch and probably a few other things on there that that I really don't know much about. But anyways, once I put it on it, he went all the way up to a, a 99 that fast without have me having to have 50 Cowboy Kims in there. And this was before I even had the 45 out of 50. He was already at 99, and so as soon as I put that, he went he went up to a 99. Same thing as Terrell and same thing as Randall Cobb. Okay, so that's what I have at 16. Okay, just so you guys know, I don't I don't know. I, I missed around with Kim's. This is mine. If you want to try it out, so let's go back. Okay, the balance O for the for the the team chemistry, whatever one you go with, Eagles, whatever. I put fourteen out of forty. Okay, 
So that's basically tier three tiers for that. If you want to copy my exact thing, how I did it, just so you don't have to, just, just, to, just to try it. And on, and then Cowboys Pass D, I put four tiers. Okay, so just those two alone. Of course, remember as well as the only, the only slot I don't have on here. We have five slots. One, two, three, four. Okay, six slots. In the first six slots of the uh, of John Madden, and on on John Madden, I have okay, two out of two passing, one out of two for the pass D. Okay, that's the passing again. One out of two of the physical cam, and two out of two of the rushing. Okay, so all this adds to it. So that's what I'm telling you. If that's the formula, you can go back and you could slow it down and see how I did it. But that's what I did. And that's how I was able to successfully get Terrell Owens to a 9 And the reason why that was big for me, because even when I had the Cowboys Kim backed out before I got rid of the team and I rebuilt it back up, I had 50 out of 50 Kims. And I did have the head coach. And I also had a, a lot of the Cowboy Kims. Not all of them, but I had, I had quite a few. I had a majority of the slots open. And he still didn't get to a 9 He went to a 98. So once I added those extra slots to the Cowboy Kims and... Uh, yeah, and then, of course, you know, the head coach, he had that extra slot that I added, which was, the, I think it was a rushing or whatever like that, I had the extra one. But it was really the Cowboy Cams I added to it, and all of a sudden, he went to a 99. So, yeah, I was I was very grateful. So, I was like, wow. Like I said, even before, he wasn't even powered up to a 99. So, that's how I did it. Like I said, a mixture as well as going with Go Deep. So, remember that. He has Go Deep on him. So, and I have that max out... Uh, let me see. Well, it's of course it's 30 out of 30. That's all you need. But I have 31 out of 30. But it's maxed out, so that helped out. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you gonna, the reason why I say go deep. Of course, you guys already know that is because um, I was missing. I had like 29 out of 30 as I was uh, switching my players around yesterday, and Randall Cobb went down to a 98 when he didn't have the full maxed out go deep. So that's how I know it really affected it. So once I put that extra player in there, I figured out how I was gonna re, uh, reroute to go deep and all that stuff. He went back to a 99. So all this has an effect. Like I said, if you want to go back to the video, slow it down and see what I was showing you or or whatever the case, however it is you want to better understand it. Yeah, just go back and look at it. That's how I did it. That's how I did it. If you want to use the same format, just so you've seen that it worked for me, you want to see if it works for you, just as a try, so just wasting your training, then you'll be good. I don't know what you guys, like I'm going to show you guys something else because you guys need to understand this. Okay, with this. So the slots are a lot. Okay, there are a lot of trains. Some, the most is gonna be two thousand. This is like twenty five hundred, whatever for these last two. When you, for like I said, from the top, it's not as much. It, it, the more you go down, of course, the more it, the it costs a lot for the train. However, just so you know, to get one of these slots right here, see that? I could actually switch it around anytime I want. It's only fifty trains. So just know once you buy the slot, to remove it and actually, if you want to like mess around with your with your Kims and all that stuff, it's not going to be that costly after you already pay the two thousand or whatever how much training it is to to get that slot. It's only going to be it's only going to cost fifty training. And ch ch check this out. And once you own it, like you said, anything else? Once you own this, let me see if I got one over here that I own. Let me see. See that? Oh no, wrong one. Over here. See how it says own? Because I already own it because I used that rushing before. This I was messing around with the Kims. So once you own it, you own it. That's that. So you go ahead and pay for all these if you want. And then you'll still own it. The only thing that's going to cost you to change it, of course, as you guys are already are well aware of, is the 50, 50 coins, which is nothing. But like like I said, once you have it, it's not going to be that much to, to move it or change it around or to, to figure out how you want to go about changing up your camp. So don't stress off that. But like I said, a lot of people running theme teams. If you want to do a lot more with it, do a lot more. I know people are looking at, uh, I have Sean Taylor. I have Ryan Shazier. I have people who are not Cowboys on my team. Here's the thing. I would like to make an all cowboy uh, theme team, but if I were to actually to remove these players, there's several reasons why I'm doing it. It, it would actually lower. It, I, w I wouldn't have enough like the pass rush and go deep. So I like keeping them in as Kims. And another thing too, I'm not really even tripping on getting really getting rid of them. I would like the, the other, of course, what's his name, uh, Earl Thomas, because he gets the uh, he gets any team chemistry. That would be nice. But as for now, I'm just gonna slowly but surely build it up. And I do like my defensive tackles. I like them. I like my Cowboy defense tag, but I like these guys right here. So the few people that I do like, I want to keep them on team. Ryan Shazira, I'm never going to get rid of. That's a, a, evidently much respect to him, especially as to what he went through. It's like, it's like, to me, it's more about respect with him because, you know, he's 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 overcoming a lot right now, what he had to go through. And uh, EA gave him to this year. And so what I'm going to do, I want to keep him on team. 
You know, of course, I just out of respect on that. And then I'm going to keep Ricky Williams because he's a monster at running back either way. So I could go ahead and get another running back as the Cowboys, but I'm not worrying about all that. Look, I got 45 out of 50 Kims. I'm a 98. I'm a 98 uh, OVR. Pretty sure later on they're going to release some other Cowboys that are good, and I'll go from there. Like, just, So I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm going to slowly but surely build that. I like it. I got my DeMarcus Ware back. It's not The art's not coming in for some reason, but it is what it is. So, But, yeah, slowly but surely. Deion Sanders, I'm not worrying about getting his 99 gold. I will get it eventually later on um, because, as you already know, he got his 99 speed, and he got his 99s across, especially with the Cowboy Cams and all this other stuff. So he's looking pretty decent. So what I already know EA is going to give us another two more passes, power passes, which is going to be a 98 and a 99. So remember that. Don't I don't want to go wild spinning my coins because I'm pretty sure eventually they're going to give us those power passes and they're going to come in handy with the cards, uh, with these cards that I want to upgrade. So I'm going to be patient. And the other card that I want to get is going to be the – see, look, I got Jalen Smith to a 98. What, 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 is, what is he without the Kims? Though? Let's see what he looks like. See, he's a 95 without the Kims, okay? With the Cowboy Kims and everything else, he's a 98. And I, I haven't even put his other card into it. So once I put his other card into it, he's going to be very good to go. So eventually I'm going to get his other card. Not because I really need it. I, I could, I'm fine with this disc card, but because he'll get times three Cowboys Kim. That's why I'm going to get the other card that he has once again. So I'll say this Monday I should be able to get it. Unless, unless uh, oh, I missed up backed out. Unless, this is what I'm waiting for, okay? I'm waiting for... Dak Prescott power up because his go his throw his throwing deep accuracy is not that good and I'm having problems so I'm keeping this guy in there, especially for like solo battles and stuff like that just so I can make sure that I win those games. I can't be throwing deep with the, uh, yeah Dak Prescott, but he's in there. I'm waiting for an upgrade for him and then yeah I want to get him. Another thing too that I upgraded I got Ezekiel Elliott. I just I, I bought him yesterday got him. I'm, I'm gonna upgrade his car. I get his other car. I could get it right now but I'm gonna wait on the Eddie George. Um, see how that goes because I want to save my coins. And then I put these other Cowboys in. You guys have already seen the other upgrades, but the major upgrades was the Randall Cobb. Um, Terrell Owens, I upgraded him, went to a 99. I, I put Keyshawn Johnson back in, and then I got Ezekiel Elliott. So then were the major upgrades since I last recorded that I know. Oh, sorry, and uh, DeMarcus Lawrence, I put him back in. Because I know eventually he's going to get another card. So, yeah, I put him in for that reason because once he does, I know his card is going to skyrocket. And I wanted to make sure I had him before then. But anyways, yeah, I wanted to upgrade you guys. I want to let you know how I got Terrell Owens to a 99. Like I said, it was a lot. It was it was a lot of work, of course, throughout the year because you know to get John Madden, get the slots, get the Cowboy Kims. It took me a, it took me a while. Everything's maxed out on my Cowboy Kims. When it comes to the slots that I have available, I maxed them out. The only thing that if I wanted to add more was I would have to get rid of John Madden coach and put and put like a. Uh, Jason Garrett in there, and really, I'm not going to benefit as much as I would, of course, keeping John Madden. So, I'm just going to keep it as that. I'm happy with it and just enjoy the rest of the game. And as time goes on, I'll see if I want to do anything more interesting and see what cards they come out with, you know. But thank you guys all for tuning in. Um, if you guys didn't sub, sub to the channel, like the video if you like what you've seen. I appreciate it. And until next time, you guys all have a nice day. I'm out.